Hey, thanks for the ride, brother. Catch a fish? I'll try to. Don't crash the tundra. I'll try not to. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Alaskan adventure. Today, I'm doing something that I know very little about and I've only done a couple times in my life. Recently, my good buddy Scotty at Wildfly Productions hooked me up with a pilot here in Alaska. His name is Dr. Bob and apparently he does some flying trips. So huge shout out to you, Scotty, for setting this up. But Dr. Bob gave me a call and he was just like last minute, hey, do you wanna go on this fishing trip? And I said, sure, I don't know nothing about it. I'm just going. That's what we're doing today. I just got dropped off and wow, these planes look sick. I mean, you just can't really complain about that. What a morning. So I'm gonna walk over here and meet everybody and kind of get the rundown, but this is gonna be an adventure, guys. And this is where our Alaskan adventure began. I walked down to the docks, met everybody that I was gonna be hanging out with for the day, and slowly started putting all of our stuff into a six person bush plane. After everything was inside of the plane, Dr. Bob came in and we putzed around the lake a little bit, doing a checklist of things that a pilot has to do before we could take off. Before I knew it, the plane was up in the air and we were soaring over the Kenai Peninsula and man, was it beautiful. When we were flying, I got to talk to everybody in there and I found out that we're gonna be flying about an hour and 20 across Cook Inlet to target a couple different fish, Northern Pike and Big Lake Trout. The flight over went amazing. The sights were breathtaking, the mountains, the ocean, the rivers, the streams, you name it, I got the whole nine yards and the whole experience. So an hour and 20 goes by and we fly over this beautiful lake, probably the bluest lake that I've ever seen in my life. And Bob says, well, that's the lake that we're gonna be fishing today. And I found out that one side has lake trout and the other side is spawning grounds for lake trout and pike. With the wind conditions that we were dealt with, Bob said that we were gonna land on the lake trout side first, and then once the wind got bad, we were gonna take off and fly to the other side and finish the day off doing a little bit of combination of pike and lakers. Bob is a beauty and stuck the landing absolutely perfect. I remember seeing all the water spray up when the skis touched on there, which I thought was pretty cool. And we ended up trolling on over to the shore where we got out and that's where our fishing story starts. Wow, what an absolute beauty of a plane ride. And we made it to a remote lake. The water is so blue, it's so clear here. Got mountains everywhere. Wow, what an experience. I'm just gonna take in as much of this as possible because this is something you don't get to do every day. All right, well, we just landed, got some tackle ready. And this first lake that we're at, I believe there's lake trout in here, as well as some pike across the lakes. But I think right away, we're gonna start out trying to catch some lake trout, which I'm freaking excited because I've never caught a lake trout on a fly rod before. This is gonna be a first time for me. I've caught them on the ice, obviously, or through the ice, but never on a fly rod. So this is gonna be super cool. Again, guys, I'm doing all of this through all Alaska outdoors. Uh, I'll have Dr. Bob explain about it a little bit more. Uh, he knows more about it than I do. But if you guys wanna do what I'm doing today, which is just even like a little snippet of what all they offer, it'll be linked down below and you can learn more about it. After all the rods were rigged up, we walked over to the secret honey hole and Bob said, if I don't catch a fish first cast, I know something's wrong. 
and about 20 seconds into Bob casting, well, this happened. No way. No. All right, we're good to go, guys. I just have to check. First fish of the year. <laughs> All right. Huh? No, no. You guys start fishing. Throw those fly lines out. Let them sink. Uh oh, he's gonna get me in the snag if I'm not careful. Oh, yeah, he so let go. Beautiful. And, and and what I love about this spot is the water's so clear that you just get these gorgeous, you know. And I, I got I, I finally bought a GoPro. But I gotta, you gotta, you probably gotta teach me how to use it. You're yeah, the I GoPro teach you. expert, right? <laughs> it's still in the box. All right, hang in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the colors. So since they have the orange fins, what are, are these? Just are these a different type of lake trout? You know, it's just every just, every place I fish them, they have different colors. Okay, the one, yeah, the one. Yeah. We'll let them go. Looks pretty good. Well, we already started fishing, and the demonstration cast. Obviously Bob hooked up because he's a freaking beauty and just caught a absolute gorgeous lake trout And now uh, I've been getting a couple shots here, but I'm about to get in there and I'm I'm really excited to do this But yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and let you guys know I've been watching people fish, doing a little bit of filming, but I finally decided to pick up a fly rod for myself. And dude, this is so cool. Absolutely breathtaking. So beautiful out here. So what we're fishing is, as you can see, there's a creek right here. And the creek just goes into this lake. And the lake, there's a giant, giant drop off right out that way. And uh, all these fish are just hanging out kind of in this little pool and I'm sure they're getting little critters or bait fish or something that come in from this creek over to there. But I'm gonna get in there. Dr. Bob hooked me up with the rod and I have no idea what that's supposed to emulate, but we're just gonna get after it here. I am stoked. All right, well, as you guys can tell, it's getting a little bit windier here. And being that we have a plane here, we have to move sides of the lake to get away from this wind because it's not very safe. But I didn't get to fish for that long, so unfortunately, I did not get a lake trout. But that's okay. It's still so beautiful out here, and there's more fishing to be had.
lather at this end to that other end. Well, we just made it across the lake and we're in this shallow bay where there are some pike that are spawning here. I mean, I know you guys back home, you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys know what the pike are about, but I haven't caught a pike on my fly rod in a very long time. So I think we're gonna get out, we're gonna wait around and see if we can put the hurting on some spawning pike. What are you thinking? Feel like a <laughs> No, this is the complete opposite. <laughs> I'm about to go pike fishing in Alaska. I never thought I would say that. See how big they were though? No, I couldn't see them. Oh, they're like 40 inches long. Really? Yeah. See, that would be... It's a little, it's different. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, fellas, we're getting all rigged up and I just got handed this chunks of a rod. And we're using, I'll show you, I, this thing right here. Looks pretty cool. And then, if you can see, we got the plane just chilling in the water right there. That's pretty cool. But all the pike we saw were, I believe, way down that way. So we're gonna wade, wade that way eventually. And uh, they were saying they saw some like 40, 40 inches. So this is gonna be pretty fun. No, right? I mean, I wish the sun was out though. That'd be kind of... Feels like sunny and 75. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the water would just feel good. There's one. Oh, is that a Laker? Is that a Laker? Or is that a pike? I don't know, but he's going for a run. Oh, baby. He is going for a run. Oh, boy. Well, boys, we got something here. I have no clue what we got. I got a quick little peek at him. It's looking very pikeish. Which you'll have that with me. Big pike guy. But yeah, like I was saying, my GoPro's been acting super weird today, so I don't know how much I've gotten uh, fish catches on camera, but this is uh, hopefully going to be on camera for you guys. Oh, it's a pike. Gosh dang it. I was really hoping... For Wait, what is, is that a pike? Yep, that's a pike. Hmm. These guys followed me all the way to Alaska. Uh, you know, I will say, Alaskan pike hit a little bit different. Catching pike, flew into this place, got a nice view of some mountains. You just really can't complain, man. You can't complain. That's what it was. Now that you know, I thought they were little fish. I thought, you know, I thought it was my windshield. Huh. Well, these big ones are Oh, crush. There we go. There's another one. It's feeling very pikish y. This one's, this one's running. But I think over here. I got a pipe coming your way, Eric. There we go. We're all tripled up right now. At least I think this is a pike, probably. Yeah. 
He's mad. Little chunky monkey. See you, buddy. Just hoping and praying every time I have one on that it's a uh, uh, lake trout, but it's just a pike every time. Oh, Alaskan pike. We'll take that. We'll take some Alaskan pike. Well, this last spot was pretty cool. I ended up just holding the camera and doing some film work. The boys got into them pretty good. We even got one to take home so the guys can eat for dinner tonight. A little tasty treat. But wow, what a day. Just check out the view. Got mountains in the background right there. Hopefully you can see that. Got the lovely plane just silent out here. So cool, we're the only ones fishing out here. Crystal clear water. I don't know what screams more Alaskan than this. But I think we're going to pack up now and go on back to, oh, and he's on back there. As I was saying, pretty pristine waters. And that's one of the reasons why. But we're gonna get going. We're gonna get back before this weather hits pretty bad. And yeah, had an awesome time out here. I'll catch up with you guys when we get back. You know your boy's putting in that editing work. Mm-hmm. Well, fellas, it is currently the next day and I am editing the video that you guys are about to watch right now as we speak. And I never got back to you guys. Basically, I got back home and I was so tired after a fun-filled Alaskan day that I just went to bed. But I just wanna say, had an awesome time. I I can't even put into words how special that day was to me. Um, so huge shout out to Bob and everybody else over there, Eric, you as well, and All Alaska Outdoors for setting that up. It was an awesome time. If you guys are planning on coming up to Alaska and you need a place to stay, you need some activities to do, and someone to plan everything for you to make your Alaskan experience special, definitely contact All Alaska Outdoors. They will be linked down below where you guys can learn more about them. Uh, you guys better do it quick because they're gonna fill up very, very, very fast as the summer goes on. So yeah, if you guys uh, end up going over there, let them know that I sent you guys. But other than that, guys, I don't really have much more for you. I think Bob is gonna try to get me on a couple more fly-in trips. So comment down below, what do you wanna see me and Dr. Bob do? Uh, should he fly me to go catch char? Should he fly me in and drop me off somewhere and then just leave me for like three days and see if some bears eat me? That might be kinda cool. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But I have nothing more for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.